Hi everybody, it's Dr. Rose Kumar. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this word comorbidity. We've been hearing this word quite a bit during this pandemic and a lot of people don't understand what a comorbidity is, so I'd like to explain that and explain what you can do to prevent that. So a comorbidity is a coexisting disease. Morbidity is really another term for disease. Um, in, in America, the highest, the greatest comorbidities that we have as we age are hypertension, diabetes, coronary artery disease, cancer, uh, now renal diseases um, starting to increase because of the high protein diets people are eating. And all the other diseases that I've mentioned earlier are, can also be associated with renal disease. Uh, Alzheimer's is also a comorbidity, so is lung disease and obesity we're finding is also a comorbidity that is present, uh, interestingly, in the younger population. You know, initially when coronavirus uh, statistics came out, we were saying that younger people have a lesser chance of death than the elderly, but what we're finding is more younger people are dying, especially in regions of America where childhood obesity is high. So obesity is definitely also a comorbidity and America is reft with obesity. <clears throat> so what, what uh, the data is showing is that people that are more likely to die from coronavirus uh, infection have at least one comorbidity. In New York, their data showed that 86% of deaths uh, in New York City from coronavirus um, had uh, were, were in patients that had at least one comorbidity, uh, and these are as follows. Hypertension, diabetes, um, <clears throat> renal disease, uh, coronary artery disease, dementia, COPD, which is emphysema, cancer, atrial fibrillation, and heart failure. Add obesity to that list, and um, and, and then we pretty much have uh, most of the comorbidities that Americans have today. Now, <clears throat> what, why are younger people that are apparently healthy dying also of coronavirus, even Americans that are not um, obese? Well, it's, it's an interesting uh, concept, this comorbidity concept. I kind of see it as, you know, in, before a disease manifests, we have to make certain choices in order to um, end up with that disease. So <clears throat> the building blocks of disease really are our lifestyle choices. If we choose to eat saturated fat, if we choose to drink alcohol, if we choose to eat meat and dairy in high quantities, if we choose not to exercise, those are all building blocks to develop a disease. Now there are also building blocks to develop health. And those building blocks are a whole food plant-based diet, um, a, a daily exercise, uh, learning how to manage your stress, learning how to reduce your stress, uh, living a more balanced life. Sounds good, doesn't it? So people that live in the latter way, those building blocks actually create health. So what, why are we living uh, in ways that create comorbidities? I think it's a lot of it is habit. A lot of it is the normalization in our society of bad habits or unhealthy habits. And one of the things that is not really talked about is the, the basic definition of health. Health is not just an absence of disease. Health is um, uh, having an optimal body that's aligned with itself where all systems are working collaboratively together to maximize health. So that's really what we want. We want optimal health. So what's happening in the younger generation is that even though they don't have a disease yet, the habits that they are living with, the lifestyle choices they are living with, uh, are causing less than optimal conditions in their body. And the body systems are required to work optimally in order to fight infection, in order to have a strong immune response, in order to um, have a healthy liver, which is the first responder in any immune response. So if 
the younger generation uh, has been creating these building blocks towards a comorbidity or towards disease. Um, and just because the disease hasn't manifested yet doesn't mean that their body is healthy. So what we're finding is with this coronavirus, if you choose those building blocks that will result over time in a comorbidity, you are more likely to have a serious infection and you have an increased likelihood of death with coronavirus. So I just wanted to make sure that you understood this whole concept of a comorbidity and also understood that there is so much you can do. There are so many other choices you can make other than what are normalized in our society. Just because we normalize choices that are unhealthy doesn't make them right. So we want to take the effort, make the effort to create change in our lifestyle towards health. We want to replace those unhealthy building blocks with healthy building blocks so that we not only reduce our chances of death from coronavirus, but all cause mortality. So I just wanted to leave you with that and um, really think through this and see what you can do to alter your lifestyle so that you can start to develop positive, healthy building blocks to restore and uh, promote health. Till next time, take good care.